Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the air skirmish followed by Walakot strike between Pakistan and Indian Air Force, IAF realized the need of long range BVR missile. Post that, we have seen induction and integration of lots of air to air missiles such as Meteor, Israeli, IDRB, Python, and Astra MK1. Now, there are a lot of updates coming from Tarmac Media House related to the family of Astra missile development. Today, we are going to analyze and discuss all the important updates related to Astra MK1, MK2, and MK3 missiles. So, let's get started. As we all know that the integration of Astra with Su-30 MKIs has been completed. In July 2020, the Defense Ministry had approved 248 Astra beyond visual range air to air missiles. These missiles will be delivered to Indian Air Force by this year. The integration of Astra with Tejas is also in progress. As per the latest update, we would observe Tejas MK-1 trials with Astra MK-1 in early 2022. In a recent interview with Tamak Media House, the director of ADE, Dr. S. Benu Gopal, said that Astra was able to track and direct hit a very low observable target from a distance of 87 kilometers. The target used was Bansi, which is just 2 meter by 2 meter, much smaller than a fighter jet. He also said that the Astra is one of the best BVR missiles in its class. Astra MK-1 is powered by a smokeless, single-stage solid fuel propulsion system that can propel the missile to a speed of 4.5 Mach and allows its operation for maximum altitude of 20 km. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in head-on chase mode and 20 km in daily chase mode. The maximum range is achieved when the missile is launched from an altitude of 3 km. When fired, from an altitude of 2 km, the range of missile drops to just 44 km and when launched from sea level, the range drops further to 21 km. Our next update is related to Astra MK-2 missiles. The Astra MK-2 BVR missile will be test fired from Su-30 MKI in 2022. Once the missile is integrated with Su-30 MKI, the work on integration of Astra MK-2 will start on Tejas MK-2. For fast-track testing and integration of Astra MK-2 missiles, DRDO will pre-produce 25 missiles and Indian Air Force had already assigned 4 to 5 Su-30 MKI fighter jets that will be upgraded with latest software patch and will go through minor modifications so that they can be used as a test bed for Astra MK-2 development and user trials. The missile system will be ready to enter production by 2023. Astra MK-2 uses most of technologies borrowed from other successful missiles like DRDO's dual pulse motor from MR-SAM and Seeker from Astra MK-1 which will give it a range of 160 km in head-on chase mode and around 40 km in tail chase mode. Once DRDO integrates SFDR technology with Astra, it will be as good as Meteor and much ahead of Chinese PL-15 missiles. Astra MK-3 is going to be a very long-range BVR missile which will start its developmental trials in 2022. DRDO has co-developed a solid fueled air breathing ramjet engine SFTR with Russia and we have seen its trial twice this year. The Astra MK-3 will be the first missile to use SFDR technology. The SFDR is an advanced technology than ramjet engine. It is using an air breathing ramjet engine which can vary thrust according to the requirement increasing the hit probability of missile. In future, SFDR will be also integrated in Astra MK-2. Astra MK-3 will have the range in excess of 340 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. 
we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector